What's up everybody and welcome back to our Trans Ocean the Shipping Company Let's Play series. We're here in the campaign. We are trying to make some money so we can pay back our investor, Miss Lydia Bluth Smith. And uh, actually, i gotten a really good like comment, I get multiple comments, about how we should uh, do things a little bit differently. And so part of it was checking the prices in ports when I'm in ports. So that way I don't sit there in ports that uh, are costing us a lot of money. So we're definitely going to keep an eye on that. So for me, I don't know which ports cost a lot because I haven't really been paying attention. We've just been going and going and going. So for a while here, we're going to probably have some slow episodes as I go to the ports. We check out like the different prices of these different ports. Like right here, we're sitting in Lisbon and... Uh, not really sure. The docking fees here are 9000 a day. So, not bad. It's really cheap. This would be a good place to repair my ship. Which is another comment was, I should have, like, repair my ships to 100% and then just kind of keep them within a high range as I would be only sitting in port for three days at a time. So, we're going to have some episodes here where we're going to be just getting stuff back to normal and where they should be. Uh, the other comment was to get all the licenses for cargo and stuff. So, I mean, those are things I will definitely probably do if I kind of remember to do that stuff. And then, we're obviously going to get by another ship. I want to buy another ship here, but let's get the Alabama out of here. Uh, sitting in Lisbon, we need to cast off. What are you, going to Lagos. Lagos is where we are headed. We are pretty much full. There's nothing here in port. Um, we have no, like, there's no, whatchamacallit, like, no, uh, doesn't any time we have to be there. So I guess that's the which call it. But uh, so while we're doing that, we might as well just repair the ship, I guess, huh? It would take nine days. Uh, about seven hundred fifty thousand. What I would like to do is do it for six days. Let's get it up there. I think six days is a good time to sit in port. And then when we would come back to Lisbon, we will deal with that. And we can't repair. Why can't we repair? Why can't we repair our ship? Uh oh, because it's already getting worked on. That's why. So that is why, that is weird, okay, so now she's ready, I she must have repaired her, alright, she's up at 84%, so you know, we're just going to let her sit here, repair her 100%, and then we will ship off to Lego, so it's just, you know, while we're at it, we'll just kind of keep an idea if there's any other cargo, we don't have the uh, freight insulation, uh, which you can get uh, customs for, I believe, so let's go to the back to the world map, uh, as you can see here, the Mersk is cruising along slowly, and we have our big, nice explorer sitting here in uh, Colombo. So, let's see, I just want to write these down. Lisbon has a port fee of 9000 a day, and we're sitting here in Colombo. And as you can see here, it shows the docking fees. That has a docking fee of 23k, uh, 23.4k, I guess you could say. So, what we're going to do, I, I mean, we can see the explorer here is at 78%. I don't, I think no matter where we go in with the ship, just due to our pure size, that we're going to have high docking fees. So, let's just see what we have for contracts, and then figure something out. Remember, we need to keep delivering freight to uh, Los Angeles. So, let's just head there. I think that's good. I mean, it's about 11 million, and uh, we'll just head back to Los Angeles. We've already been there. But it, it is what it is. We'll accept these contracts. Get them out of here. Like I said, I want to purchase another ship. So we're going to take out a second loan as well to do that. Fuel is so... Holy cow, fuel is high here. Let's see if we can go somewhere else where fuel might be a little cheaper. Uh, it's not a good place. Buenos Aires uh, might be cheaper. And it would be on the route. Um, I think that'd be good. I don't know if we're going to... I don't think we have anything going to Buenos Aires. Uh, so let's let's do that. Let's take some some cargo there as well. We've got plenty of time. We got 55 days to get there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's take that as well. Hopefully, fuel then will be a little bit cheaper. Um, I should have checked the world map. Here, let's pause that real fast. Fuel prices, Buenos Aires in South America. It actually is cheaper, so that's perfect for us. So let's go back to the Explorer here. Look at all that nice cargo load up. Oh yeah. That's a fully loaded ship is what that is. I like that. That's called a money maker. That's going to be so. Let's get some fuel. Let's uh, might put enough to get into like South America, I feel like. 
Let's see if that's enough to get us there. And it's not. Uh, it's not, not enough fuel yet. Um, uh, there, there's gotta be like an easier way to tell like how much fuel it would take to get somewhere. I feel like. I might actually say in the uh, contract. Let's go that much. Let's see what we got. Still not enough fuel. What about at slow power, very slow power? Still not enough fuel. That is weird that there's not enough fuel to get there. Hmm. Well, that wasn't smart of us. A full tank can't get us there. Oh, they're kind of half, half speed. And it will take 19 days. Okay, we're doing it. We're going to get there. Let's, uh, we'll cast off manually from Buenos, or from, uh, Colombo. And we'll head to Buenos Aires. Ooh, that was getting kind of dangerous there. I felt like, you know, I wasn't sure if we were going to make it. But we were able to. So, half speed, not bad. Look, Colombo, though, she's, uh, wow, she handles a lot of tons going through there. 4.2 million. And let's get the Explorer out of here. No, we don't want to go that way. We want to back up. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I was thinking, let's just go full, full reverse out of here. You know, maybe not full reverse, but... Just gotta be careful of this dock here. So we're backing up. We don't want to get too, too, too close there. But it looks like we'll be fine. It's a shame I couldn't swing into one of these ports or whatnot. You know, one of these berths. Swing in, then swing around. We could try. Maybe one of these ones down here. We could try swinging her in and then backing her out. Not really sure. Let's see. We might have a little bit of a ways to go on the map if we don't swing her start the swing. Actually, we don't need to start the swing. Um, remember, this ship turns on like a dime, so it's super nice and easy. So we'll start swinging her now, I think. Nope, way too soon. Yeah. She's definitely like a swinger. Actually, let's just go, let's just back her all the way straight out. Why not? Why not? It's a slow process, but someone's got to do it. You can't even see the, uh, Oh, there it is. I think so. Way out there. We can't really tell. So Trans Ocean 2 is coming at some point this year. It'll be... Hopefully they fix some little things. Hopefully they make the AI, AI a lot better. Hey, hopefully they'll give us some room to make some maneuvers and port here as well. I could turn her around and get us out of here. But by the time I turn her around and swing her back, we'd be out of here. So, not really worth it. And I think you guys like seeing this, see me back up full reverse. Plus we can see, just like, check out the car, like, one more, like, stack of containers right there and there. And I would say this is a bullshit, man, it looks like we're missing right over there, too. I don't like that the camera just automatically like, swings like that, either. Wish they would fix that. Let them know we're heading out. I feel like all the horns are the same, though, no matter what ship you have. But it is what it is. I think it's a small publisher that even that does this game. So, it's usually what happens, you know. Small publishers do stuff like this because it's a very niche market. But, alright. Ah, oh, a storm. That's for the Maersk. Uh, just sail around it. We're not in a hurry. Yeah, I get to Descartes. It's fine. We'll speed up some time here. Oh, I know what we were going to do. We are going to get another ship, right? Let's check out ship prices here. Uh, and... Do, 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 do. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Now I know there was a comment, and I literally forgot what the comment was. There's something about buying ships in the same class. I thought, um, to go for the one that was faster, which would be this one here at 2,700 tons. Um, actually, it's not really faster. The high-speed MX is the faster one. And it gives us 3,200 tons. We're only at 13 days. I mean, 40 million. I think we could do it. We, we could do it. Let's take out a loan, loan, a loan for like 20 mil. Just so we have some extra money just shaved up here. And uh, I think that'll be good. That'll be good for us. 
20 mil. Uh, and we want it at... I think 24 months is a good amount of time to pay it. Pay it back. Our monthly payments are under a million. I think that'll be good. Let's take that out then at 20 million. I think that's all we're going to need. We're sitting about 60, so that'd be 80. The ship's going to cost about 40. Let's do it. It's gone. We took, we took out the loan. Let's buy this ship here. And uh, I think it'll be good for us. Actually, the one I want. Hmm. Thinking about it, I don't. Oh, yeah, we want the high speed MX. That's the one we're going for. That is the one we are going for. So that is nice. It's almost like we got the super speed here. But this one's going to be the high speed MX. So let us buy it. Uh, um, it will be anchored in Hamburg, which is fine for now. So this one will be the I Vision. What are we going to call this one? The I Vision. I don't even know. What shall we call this one? The Eye Vision Solo. That's what this one's going to be. Let's christen that ship. Yay! Pop that champagne. We now have another vessel. That actually helps us out with the uh, next rank as well. Because we need another ship. That is no longer the case. We do have to make another subsidiary. And... Remember, we also have to have a subsidiary in America. So, that's the next thing we're going to do. We could actually establish one. But, it's, I mean, 50 million. So, it's going to be a little bit before we establish a subsidiary. But, we'll take care of that. We also have to get the, uh, we have to sail to seven more ports as well. So, we've got some time to get some stuff done. Let's go back to our, sh uh, we don't want the ships. We want the world map here. So, all our ships are cruising around with Let's actually go back to Lisbon here and check if they have any more cargo to Lagos, and they don't. So that's fine there. Um, so here's the good thing though, because I'm doing this the way I am. Holy cow, the docking fees here are 27,000. Holy cow. Here's the thing though, like these docking fees, like I said, are always going to change based on the ship. So I don't think it's based on the uh, on the port. I believe it's based on, on the ship in the class. So... Just got to keep that in mind. So it's going to be kind of hard to try and keep track of a lot of this stuff. But let's see what we got for contracts. I want to go more stuff to Los Angeles. Why can't we go to like the East Coast? Be nice. Uh, more stuff to... Yeah, I mean, we just we got to do it. We need to make those deliveries to uh, America anyhow. It's just a shame. Ooh, let's, while we're here, we might as well just improve this ship right away. Um, we need freight installation for refrigeration. What does the, uh, does anyone remember what the, I don't remember what the explorer has, and there's no way to tell. I think we're just going to wait then. We're going to wait to do the upgrades until we know what the explorer has. I believe the explorer has refrigeration, though. So I don't want to do refrigeration again on this ship, obviously, if that's the case. We don't want to cast off. What am I doing? We want to improve the ship. We will get these uh, licenses, though. 27,000 is just a lot. We were actually cheaper going to Colombo at 23. So uh, let's just, uh, we'll leave it for, this could take two days. Yeah, let's just leave the uh, that stuff for now. And let's just grab some cargo and we don't have anything to Los Angeles anymore. Holy cow. We could take the uh this thing here to Vlad Divostok of. Um that's kinda we can and then we could just take uh, some more up to uh the textiles here to the Keelan ports. So that'd be some new areas to check out and it'd be very lucrative for us. So let's do that. And uh, let's uh, cast this guy off. Let's cast off. We're obviously not going to go that slow. Uh, we are going to the... I would like to go to Vlad's first. Uh, let's see how long it's going to take to get here. Uh, ooh. We'll have to go slow. So it'll take 41 days. 42. It's only a day. So that's not... That's fine. That is fine. We'll go to the key imports first. 
Uh, we're gonna cast off automatically from here. I know it costs money to do that, but... Alright, the Alabama is repaired and ready to go. So let's, uh, let's see if we got anything. Nothing to Lagos here. So we're good. Let's, uh, let's cast off here. Let's fully fuel you up. Because that's a, it's just a great... Yeah, we want... Uh, Lagos, there we are. I was trying to feel out, it's like, why aren't Lagos is in Africa, not South America? Let's figure that out here. What do we got? The Mersk here, we've got the Lisbon here, we've got the Explorer, and now we've got the Solo. So that is cool. We've got four ships now in our fleet. Four ships, that's what's up. I like that. Just kind of look at all these things, just checking them out. We can we'll increase the time. Look at just like, oh, all right, the Mersk is ready to dock in Dakar. I don't think we've ever docked in Descartes, so let's, uh, let's do this one manually. You guys can see Descartes, which is in Africa. Uh, not really much here. I mean, a million people. So, small little port. You know, obviously greater than 50, so. Let's go full ahead here. Let's get this guy going. This is the smallest ship that we have, um, but we need it for the small ports. So, we're not getting rid of her. Just a little bit harder to get her to, to areas. And she doesn't carry that much cargo. So I think we should... I'd be... Whoop, where am I going? Hello. Pay attention. Pay attention. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we get that weird leg like always. That's weird. Is that like a leg? Like, you're going super fast and you're like at a certain zoom level. The legs are... It's like really weird. Um, but not. It's weird. Um, but whatever. But this is Descartes. Here. So... Oh, it's just slip right in. But yeah, I think what we're going to do maybe also is get like another ship in the same class that can hold just a little bit more cargo. I think that'll be good. I think that will be good. Ooh, uh, that was kind of like, we're just kind of gliding in here. We're going to hit this dock. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that was coming. 1% damage. Oh boy, that was just a little too much. That's fine, though. We're fine. We're fine. So this is Descartes, guys. Welcome to Descartes. Obviously. 1% damage, I can deal with that. So... I mean, the problem is she's always going to be mad because this ship ain't going to be a moneymaker for us. So, this one's not bad either, Descartes. For us, is also 9k. With the uh, feeder ship here. So let's see what, what we have here. We can go back up to St. Pete Lima, which is on the other side there. Go down to Stanley as well. We go to Colombo. Nope, we're not going to. Singapore with questionable goods. Uh, we are at 70% here, so why don't we uh, why don't we take and use this time here to fully get this ship up. Let's do it in six days. We'll do this in a process. I think that's how we're going to do it. So that is what we'll do. But I think uh, Stanley might be the next protocol for uh, for the Mersk. But we'll see. Just keep an eye on these other guys here. We've got new contracts. We could do company contracts again. We could start pulling some some of that. I want to see if... Okay, yeah. We need six more ports. I was going to say because we went to Dakar. So that was definitely what it is. The uh, Mersk is ready to go again though. So let's see what we have contracts to. Let's clear all this garbage out there that we don't need. We can go up to Nook. Uh, that might be a little bit too far for us. Because it would say 1,800, 517. Um, no, I don't want to repair. Oh, we could go up to Nook. Um, that would be... We could do Rejavik and Nook, I think, would be the two... That has questionable goods. I don't really want to take. Could go now. We could say Anchorage. That's too far. Too far. So I think Nook is. Or we could go to Santos as well. I mean, it's not really far for us. I don't think we've been to Nook yet. I don't recall. I don't think so. So we'll take this to Nook. We'll head up there. We should have enough fuel to get there. And yes, we do. So we'll go there, we'll head out, and uh, we're just going to yeah, cast off automatically. We've already seen Dakar. Alright, and the Explorer is in Buenos Aires, so let us do it manually, because I think this is the first time in Buenos Aires. Uh, 
And trust me, I'm sure you guys are going to comment on the way I'm saying some of these countries are, you know, little... Yeah, I guess it's a country. Ugh, it's so different in how other, other countries handle their, their, like, it's not really like a city, but like their, their territories, I guess you could say, too. So, might not say it the way you want to say it. I mean, I will, obviously, if you want to try and correct me, that it's fine. There might be just some things that I'm just going to say the way I say it. Buenos Aires is one of those. So, don't take it personally. Just want you guys to know. You guys are good though. You guys, you guys don't give me a hard time, which is awesome. That's why you guys are truly amazing. This here is Buenos Aires, guys. It's actually a really nice port. It's kind of big as well. As you can see, we don't really have much to see over here. Oh, I should uh, probably turn A. I uh, should probably turn. There we go. I mean, just look at how nice she turns. Like, we're just... Like, we overshot her, but, like... Oh. But, like, she just... She just turns on a dime, and it's just so nice to have that. Just don't have that maneuverability with the Explorer... Or with the, uh, Alabama. The Alabama... I think when I when I named that ship, I was thinking of like uh, Alabama football. That's what I was thinking. Don't know why. Not really a big into the college football scene, but I think that's what made me think of the Alabama for that name. But look at this! God, look at all these cranes they got for us here. I, mean, like, I think what we like really just totally clear it. Well, let's cut engine power. And there we go. We made it to Buenos Aires. Look at that, that was nice, huh? You like that, don't you, Miss Lydia Smith? Alright, let's cast off now. Let's get her, we need fuel, obviously. 535, which is just awesome, we're taking it. Uh, we are going to Los Angeles, let's just see if there's anything else. Uh, and there is coffee, but we just don't have room for it. So, that's a shame. So, we're in Buenos Aires here, let's just check out the uh, docking fees. Ooh, aren't bad here, they're cheap. So I do like that. Buenos Aires is really cheap at 14.4k. Um, this would actually be a good port to, to stop at here. Well, let's see. We got 36 days to get to Los Angeles. Let's see how long it'll actually take there. I'll take 19 days. Um, I think this could be a good spot here to uh, to repair her somewhat, I think. Um, it's going to be about a mil here, six days. Might also give us some more cargo for uh, Los Angeles while we wait as well. So we'll come back there when we see there's the new contracts available. So let's just go in there real fast and check if there's anything to Los Angeles that's worth it. And nothing yet. But remember, we still have a couple more days for, for that. Alabama here is, whoa, slow down time. We have new contracts. Alabama is ready to dock in Lagos. So we will handle this as well. Lagos, here we are. Have we been to Lagos? I don't remember. Have we been to... Um, ah, we must have been to... I don't think maybe we haven't been to Lagos yet. This is the first time. It's got to be a first time. No, it is not a first time. We've been here before. Alright, so we know I don't have to come to Lagos anymore, guys. Yeah, that was my fault. My fault there. We have been to Lagos. Legos, Legos, Lego. It almost sounds like Lego. Lego, my ego. So let's, uh, let's get going here. Come on. This is a, like very open port here. Just so much water and openness. Uh oh, beautiful. Let's uh reduce power. Let's uh, zoom in out here here and uh Yeah, let's reduce down to five knots. Let's start turning a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more, like, God. Like, I hope she turns. Oh, boy, reduce speed, reduce speed, back out. She does, like, I just, oh, I don't know. Why is she so, like, why is she got to be such a pain to butt to drive here? Like, come on. All right, straight, 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 straight. Oh, back up, back up, back up. We are like so close to hitting that. Alright. 
Holy cow, like, look at how close we are now to this wall. I think we're going to scratch it. Yeah. I felt it coming. 2% damage. That was a that was a big hit. I won't I won't deny that. That was, definitely was a big hit. Ugh, so much for being an easy port to get into. Look at this ship guy. He's like, what is this idiot doing? He's like, what is this idiot doing? Alright, whatever. We're docked. 2% damage. I Whatever. It is what it is. We still made a lot of money on that trip. But, uh, well, the docking fees here are pretty cheap as well. Lagos has a 14k docking fee as well. So that's not bad. So I think that's probably where we're going to end this episode, guys. We're going to probably head to probably Durban here next. Kind of just make our way around the uh, South, or the uh, Africa region here, I should say. So I think that's going to be good. I think we could... Uh, Halifax will be 1,300 tons, right, huh? We could, ooh, we could go to Halifax as well. We can make a way up to Canada. I think that's good. I want to do that. I want to go to Halifax. Or we could do New York as well. Actually, I think we could do both. I think we'll stop at New York first and then go up to Halifax. Or maybe go Halifax and then New York. Um, we'll see what we do for gas, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to take, we'll accept these contracts here and uh, let's fuel up. Probably gonna be ex uh, not actually. It's really cheap, or I wouldn't say really cheap, but it's cheap. So that is what we're gonna do. Let's cast her off and get her out of here. And that is on our way to Halifax is where we are going, guys. So we've got some work to do. We're uh, but we're making progress. So thanks a lot for watching, guys.